would see that it was intentional on the time of time to we were being blind. So how between different times that it happens, how does one learn to let go? For that one thing or for other things? For everything that happens. You know, like you're trying to do something and obstruction happens. Uh -huh. You try it again and again and obstruction happens. Yeah. How do you read that, okay, I should let it be? Uh -huh. Meaning that why did I try so hard? No. Why did I try so hard? I should have known from the beginning that this is not for me. Correct? I should have known what is the will of Allah. To let go, to have more understanding, to have more wisdom. How do you know? You're going to be with the people who knows that. The people who are trained in that, the people who are relying on that, and the people who are doing that all their lives. Spend as much time as you can with them. Spend as much time. Once you start to understand how their mind works, how their heart works, then you take it. Then you're going to understand. Okay, I should not push so hard in this. This one I have to put. This one, it is Allah. That is, His favor is not in that. But this one, His favor is in it, but I'm being gaflat. I'm not pushing it hard enough to realize that. All these are different things. It's not really that complex. They are different things. But you have to be with the people who are dealing with these kinds of things every single day. You have to be how our Sheikh was dealing with these things and how other people are helping him and being with him. Then you understand the principles of how the certain things work. So that time, you consult with the Sheikh. He doesn't even have to say yes or no. You will know. You will pick up. The best way is through the heart. You come up to him and say, can I do this? And he says, you will know. You will pick up. Oh, it's not really for me. You will know from his expression. But more than that, it's not just expression. It will come to your heart. But these kinds of things you've got to be doing a lot and often for you to have that. It's not something that I can just tell you right now and you can take it and apply it just like that. Yeah? And there are certain things also you have to understand. Certain things are destinies also. There's a destiny. You have to go through them. And it doesn't end there. Your life continues. Everyone asks me for something to pray. I'm not saying my prayer is effective. I'm never going to say that. It is according to how our Sheikh likes it. But every time I say, if it is good for you, just to have that attitude, I'm doing this only if it is good for me. And to say, Ya Rabbi, remove it if it is not good for me. That already shifts your thinking, your intention, it already removes so much uh, negativity and stress on you. Then when you have that proper understanding, the fine tuning can be done very easily now. So you're not trying to push for something, you're not forcing something. This is a skill. As with every skill, you need to apprentice. You need to apprentice. You cannot learn the skill of woodwork just from even watching a YouTube video. You cannot. It is a skill. And so, which is why we're saying, try to be more around. Try to be. Try to understand. Things will start working out, inshallah, like that. Because there are certain things too, when you come and you consult. I'm not even saying consult often. Because people, it's good, of course, you should consult. But so many people, they're not hearing when they're consulting. They're not understanding when they're consulting. Sometimes, Chef and he says, yeah, do it. But you know from every part of his body, he's saying, don't do it. 
He doesn't want to break your heart. And he doesn't want to say, don't do it for you to disobey him directly. But you should be wise enough to know, although he says yes, but he really means, no, I shouldn't. Some, we're screaming with our body, with our heart, don't do it, but we say, as you like. They take that and they run. And later when things don't work, they say, you gave us permission to do it. I understand. So, we should, inshallah, be in a situation where we can consult better and listen better. Then, that time, we start doing that, it will stop being, it will stop being necessary to physically, physically consult each and every time. You already know the principles that are there. Hmm? May Allah make it easy for you, inshallah. You should also understand, look in your life, think. Think. How many of us really think, let me put my life back when I was in high school, first year of high school, what I did, second year, what I did, this, what I did. After that, college, what I did, what I did, right, what I did, what are the major... Do people think that way? Do you sit down and really think? Right and wrong that you're doing? And it is right, why it is right, it is wrong, why it is wrong. People don't. They pay therapists thousands of dollars. Then they start doing things like that. But Prophet said 1400 years ago, think, meditate on your life. Read your book. Once you start doing that, you will notice, because the ego is not original, huh? the spirit is original. The ego just repeats itself over and over and over again. Then when you look in your life, you'll notice, oh, there are repetitions. I keep doing this. I keep doing this. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Then you're going to go back, go back, go back, go back. Ah, You understand the root cause. Now you're able to pull out from the roots. Then you're going to change. If you don't do that, you will pull it out, just like the weeds around here. You pull it out. Okay? It looks clean. Rains tomorrow, sun hits it the next day, it comes up again, choking everything again, correct? Then you weed it again, happens again, because you're not going deep inside. To do that, that is a skill. To do that, you have to be in sohbat. Not just in sohbat when we are speaking, you have to be in sohbat with a sheikh outside of that. You have to now put that sohbat in your lives. That's the time you're going to see certain changes. Otherwise, it's going to be clean. The next day, it's just going to have weeds growing all over again, over and over again. That is when it gets repetitious. Then we say, why is this happening? We don't understand. Allah? May Allah forgive me and bless you, inshallah. Fatiha. Anything else anyone wants to say? As much as enough, inshallah. Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum.